What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. This is huge news for TCGs everywhere. Chow Productions, one of the top sellers, is launching a site for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And you can see his track record here. Insane amounts of sales. One of the top sellers, period. And he's able to, with the new site, bring you cards even cheaper because he's not eating up those fees and that sort of stuff. So let's look over at Gamer's Choice. Code WATSGOOD5 is going to apply to these already insanely cheap prices. I don't know how many times the sponsor is going to make me say hey these megatons are the cheapest megatons i think the price will be 155 dollars and the code applies knocking it down to 147 dollars and 25 cents on checkout and you support the channel he's basically taking a loss in order to get traction for people to look at his site use his site and i understand that business model now goes from the past you might notice over here 800 dollars but limit one per customer at this awesome price you're also going to see booster cases that have $47.50 a box also limit one per customer but I want to take this price in particular over here $800 you're going to actually use that 5% off and then you get 50 boxes of ghosts from the past per case this is the closest to retail I've seen this in maybe four months it's nice and refreshing to see a seller not just go okay I could you know maybe put it at nine 950 just go for the throat be able to give each and every person that comes to the site this deal this is awesome so i do hope that stocks last i know that a ton of people watch these videos and go over show child productions some love and use code what's good five to support the channel and get yourself some amazing almost irresistible deals 47.50 a box he's literally losing money i think at that price to get traction over there oh and there's also an amazing giveaway if you're following some of his social medias i will link this specific post down below so you can enter the giveaways he is doing a hundred winners for just insane amounts of both pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh product and if you're shopping Pokemon check out his site he should be able to stock it relatively well over time and singles will eventually come to this website as well so gamers choice looking freaking amazing out the gate now some huge unfortunate news worlds is canceled oh woe is me oh why do you have cards oh remote tools aren't that good look I think remote duels are fine and there's people winning huge prizes through them. I personally don't play them, but I really like to pay attention to the metagame, the players doing them, the grindy warriors out there, and uh, hopefully no droll and lock slash dankos to hand, crazy stuff like that. But let's read through the second part of this because it's very important. Due to the cancellation of the event, Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG and TCG are planning large-scale online competitions for each country and the region, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is planning a large-scale online competition we'll inform you through the official website etc in sequence dude that means they are planning something huge for each region i look forward to it basically nationals-esque levels of events which could cause people to rush for cards if they're planning to play in them i'm pretty excited to see what actually develops out of this second part as they are saying worlds is gone but hey wait we're doing something this year unlike last year. Will Cody Angeloff have to defend his title? I can't wait to see. Toon Chaos has some weird stuff happening with it lately. A ton of the collector rares going up in price as people revisit that market as King's Court approaches us. So I do see Chaos Creator going up for that and the Ultra Rare, a card I've always respected. If you know why this is going up besides, wow, that card's really good, read the card, John. Let me know because... I do really like this card. And Chaos Space has seen some play in Dragon Link decks. I didn't know it was up towards $7. Moist Critical could destroy this market and bring it back down to $3 if he wanted to for a long time. But the Collector Rare is also up. The first, and ridiculously so, at $150. I called this being a good one long ago. I didn't know it would be that good. We'll see as Fallout happens what realistic sales prices will be on those first ad Collector Rares. But yeah, it's not just the Collector Rare market getting targeted. It's also Starlights, Mascarena back up in price, Opelosa 3 listings towards a thousand, Lightning Storm when you click on it, even the $600 even ones are gone and now 610, 615, every single Starlight seems to be going up in price when I clicked Phantom Rage I kind of noticed this because Zeus was up Heat is up a little bit and almost every single one out of there is up a bit in price so 
you might want to get on maybe the the blazing dumpster fire starlight rare sooner than later that are cheap because it is a kind of card that rarity that just gets focused after some time so if you are spending those big boy bucks use that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying kind of getting wild out here and the part stemmy part tax return maybe cards do tend to go burr this time of year thanks to the competitive market but we don't know what's ahead and uh these max rarity cards aren't all necessarily that competitive are a ton of them are though Artifact Sanctum is up in price. I do like this engine, but it's not seeing too much play right now. Interesting choice of what people are after. The Secret Rare is up in price towards $13, $14, $15. Gate Guardian pieces. I didn't know there was only four printings of Gate Guardian. That's a, like a fact a Yugi Boomer like me should know. The common has been bought out to the point where it's pushing towards the rare price from Dark Legends, where Dark Legends recently went up because Dark Legends as a whole has been being hyper focused like a reprint set similar to db1 db2 dr123 i've called it bad retro pack but bad retro pack isn't a bad set to look into yeah gate guardian prices are going burr people really hoping for that retrain huh star liege safer i forgot that this went up in price the secret rare is kind of impressing me around 18 dollars. this round eight a friendly reminder there's no Dragoonity structure deck with a common of this inside, and the reprint totally missed the March reprint set, so you might want to get here sooner than later if planning to play any kind of Dragon Link deck, because it might go up further from there. Kuraz, we see that the there's just random buyouts on a lot of these copies. I clicked the Super Rare, and I expected it, oh, it's just going to be the Duelist League versions and the weird versions people can make spike easily. Not nah, towards $5, and there's only one copy here, then it's towards $5.50 a low rated seller and then it's towards 650 not a lot of copies of the super even and i remember it being so hard to find them near mint back in the day due to monarch format people hard targeting kuraz can't really say i expect monarchs to come back that far but interesting choice of a buyout to say the least trap tricks has been getting a lot of hype from new cards coming forward and mermillo super rare has been the target of the buyout of the day in that range 16 dollars uh I don't think it'll be selling for that. And there's other versions of Mermillo. I think there's a gold rare. Ew, gold rare. Yeah, I know. But it's still a hollow version that looks decent on the card. $16 I don't think will stick. But we'll watch and see. Remember all the Trap Tricks buyouts from before and how crazy they were? I just wanted to include this for the memes. Super Vehicle Roy Drum Jumbo Wumbo Drill getting a buyout. First edition, 38. No one limbs on the market. Uh, wait, are there? Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to misquote. Yeah, no one limbs on the market. And it's just... <laughs> Jumbo Drill, that's the card of the day you all chose at random. Hero buyouts continue, Elemental Hero Divine Neos. He has been bought out to the tune of Unlums being towards 30. And first editions, is there even the one seller? $355. Congratulations. You're really going to make those sales, huh? Dabbers. Um, that joke was about three years, five years too late. I, I don't think it'll be making real sales at that price, but we'll wait and see what actually happens with the fallout there. Supersonic Skull Flame is a friendly reminder that you could have something really weird in your collection that you didn't think was worth money and is money. Its market price is 8 so it's been up there for a while. But as people target promos... Promo, pr, pr, oh, oh, dude, I remember... Promos, that's the word... $20. I wish Konami would print more promos these days. And the Speedroid stuff is super low on quantity. Uh, Robbie Cole actually pointed this out to me. I'd pointed out Kite Drake before and was like, yeah, that. And he's like, no, no, the Car Turbo. And Car Turbo is also mid buyout right now towards $4 and then quickly goes up. So if you want your copies, this is the final moments kind of to do so. And other Speedroids are dangerously low in quantity. So if you're looking at future wins, support you're saying ah i'm gonna need this i'm gonna need that for my deck when the wind duelist pack is coming out you might want to be sourcing some of these sooner than later so that is my timely market watch for the day a lot more random stuff seemingly going while others are big galactic brain and again a huge shout out it cannot be emphasized gamers choice these prices are insane that he's giving out but he has the feedback to go i've talked to the owner himself i know who child productions 
is I have one on ones with him and this is amazing for the community as a whole and I look forward to how he develops this business eventually get singles over here and it's good for everybody who is looking for sealed product and I love the limits he's putting out there too most sellers would just be like all right yeah let whoever take whatever he's doing this so methodically it's awesome and uh Hey, if you have friends who live in your city, you would trust with $600 in sealed product. I, I don't have many of those friends myself. You might want to hit them up and uh, maybe get yourself some extra packages at these prices. I'm sure James isn't going to like me saying that, but I love being able to uh, take and say whatever I want with sponsorships. So that would be my approach if I was in the market for a couple of them.